Huahuanic Huahuilmuk people. We are the Wanik people and that we are gonna be taking part in the shutdown Canada at the CP railroad tracks at the address at 27441 Lloyd Highway. So for the uh, Stop Canada, um, what we're gonna be doing there is actually uh, celebrating our existence as Wanik Wakwilmuk people. And what we're also going to be doing is also to, um, for people that are going to come and join us, we're going to be doing a lot of traditional singing and dancing, as well as maybe some of our arts and crafts. And the arts and crafts that we've been using that we're going to use there are actually from the cultural resources of the land of Wanak territory. And one of them is going to be working with cedar, perhaps. And the other one is um, working on some of the logos that we're going to be uh, um, with our jackets that we have on our jackets, uh, as I, as the artist, and that, that um, was uh, allowed to use my design. And this is also showing the existence of all our other different artists that are going to be coming out there, whether it's singing, whether it's dancing, or whether it's telling stories in that. And then so, um, and then Sister Cindy uh, here and that were matriarchs of the Wanakwakwilma uh, people. And because we work the land, and that, that's what gives us our existence as hereditary matriarchs. We, the Wanak people, we grew up canoeing on the land, fishing on the land, hunting on the land, harvesting everything on the land. So it's really important to remember as matriarchs, that we want to cre to re renew that relationship with the land um, in being disrupted by having to force into residential school. Our mother, after we came out of residential school, quickly made the reconnection again with us. She took it to heart to make sure every one of her eight children went through rites of passage ceremonies, and we still go through those ceremonies to date on our land. We've, um, like we said, so the actions that we are doing, we are going to have also a Wanak powwow as well in the upcoming future here in late spring. And we will post to a website, a Wanak website with the actual dates in the future. And we are also uh, reviving our canoe club and we are renaming our canoes to Tasselton after our late father who brought us home um, and it was witnessed by another chief that, um, that the children were being brought home literally, physically, not just in spirit, but physically as well from residential school. So as matriarchs of Wanak tribe, we are reestablishing, reestablishing that relationship with the land and ensuring that the generations yet to come, our great, great, great grandchildren still are connected to the land in that close relationship. So I think that's very, very important to, to get out there to the public that that's what we are doing in close relationship. And also, too, we can't forget about um, the salmon and that, that we've been uh, doing some canning and that with our mother, Quinnawat, who's not here with us at the moment and that, but who raised us to do all this preparation, as well as um, we we have to, not have to, in our hearts and that, if it wasn't for our men to actually go out there and do some fishing for us ladies and that, then, you know, that's our survival skills. Everything about what we do is our life skills, and that's what makes us who we are. We also have an ebook coming out through Thetis Books. It's called River of the Salmon People, and that'll be coming out soon on ebooks through Thetis books thanks to the Canada Council for the Arts as well and this is a is going to be an ebook that uh, tells the stories of the Wanak people and their relationship to the river and therefore so that's something to look forward to as well.